Alert, Diego Music Exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. <laughs> those moments right where like you know uh like where we relate to the music shit so much that it's like it touch us like like because i know i used to wake up and feel like i, I couldn't go a day without listening to that shit like because i missed shit. the bus bro yeah i bus. missed the bus i missed what the about bus the too. bus the bus was lit crisscross oh that, that bus i missed the, the bus, bus. Out here. and, I and that's something that, that i yeah. never ever ever do again i related to that you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah like, that was my life <laughs> what kind of student were you elementary I was a goddamn. Let me tell you something. I was a goddamn genius. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Junior high, not so much. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you know what happened. Uh, yeah, hormones girls, usually happen in junior high. Huh? Yeah. The hormones. Girls, but nah, nah. I think really, bro. I just was kind of like. This. So junior high was you Richmond or Oakland by junior high? Hayward. Hayward. Okay. Yeah, school in Hayward. All right. What school yeah. you went to in Hayward? Uh, Bret Hart and Hayward High. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I had to go to Tennyson before. Yeah, and they wouldn't let me wear my delinquent's dank or die shirt. Oh, there was, yeah, they wouldn't have that shit. <laughs> you couldn't wear jerseys in Hayward, yeah, actually. Shit off. It was mm. like, I couldn't wear my Bulls yeah. jersey with my Jordans. What was you that know? about? Uh, gang? I, gang, yeah, gang. gang. Yeah. They talking about gang. I'm Pyrusha. trying to dress like yeah. Dwayne Wayne. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They talk about a gang. Yeah. So, what they was on. so <laughs> at what point did you <clears throat> figure out that you wanted to even try with this music shit? Man, I really... This is the part where it's boozy. Like you feel like I really feel like forever. Mm. That shit really just was. It's always been fun. You ever had I, the tape recorder and the one playing yeah, the beat? You play the beat. And yeah. Then you Which just, instrumentals you used to rap off of? On who tapes? I think one of my first was probably Exhibit. Ooh. Mm. Was it a single and then had the yeah, instrumental? Yeah, single and exhibit. Uh, Which exhibit? Not what, what you, you see, see is what you get. That one. It was what you it see is what you get. Exhibit. Paparazzi. So this explains yeah. Grand National. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. So because I'm gonna tell you, uh, Papa Rossi is a video on the beach with a symphony or orchestra, or whatever, mm. right? And he's just rapping his ass off. Mm. And then the other mm. video, what you see is what you get. That's one of the most that's amazing classic. videos ever created. Ever. I think a lot of people tried to recreate that video, and it never, they never nah, got the, saucy. yeah. Um, Shout out to Exhibit 2. I seen that nigga in the airport like two, three months ago. That's, that's, that's right. dope what as fuck. What was he fuck. doing? Being a, hey, hey, what's up with y'all? Hey, what's up with y'all? Nigga was about to, nigga was about to pimp a plane, nigga. Yeah. Pimp my plane out. <laughs> pimp my plane, nigga. That nigga looked happy to be Exhibit. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It, it's probably good yeah. being Exhibit. He was, yeah, he's an MC, he's MC. Yeah. So, so listening to, I mean, well, wrapping up, what other, you got any other instrumentals you used to rap on? Let me see. I think it was some, um, damn, I want to say some more Cypress Hill shit, but I, mm. I want to say it was Funk Dubious. Mm. Funk Dubious? Mm. I never even, I never even You've been thought a about digging this, in the crates, bro. nigga, since even, junior high? I never even thought about this till right now. In junior high or high school, did you do nah, any talent shows? High school, I did one. I did one, I think, senior year. Okay. So had had London already named you Irk by then? Yeah. Maybe right going into senior year. Going into senior yeah. year. And is it one of them things where you just give your nigga a nickname? Man, I think I can't even tell if he was roasting me or not. I still don't know. Okay. I still ain't, I don't think it's, it's a Were you a jerk? Before. Were you an asshole? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to the teachers or to the fellow students? Or? Man. What 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 Man, what kind it's of hard to shit explain. Was it's hard to explain. Play one of us, man, for no vultures, man. It's hard to explain, man. <laughs> like, was it? I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Like, can I assume that it was a, a, a lot of sarcasm, a lot of capping, hard to make, a, hard to make a mistake around you. Mm -hmm. You was you on, on their ass. I'm on your ass, and and if you on my ass, both way pulls, then it's gonna be a. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay. We going. But that's where it started from. Like, right. You know, you go to school, you get capped on. You're like, hey, hey, hey. Hold yeah, on, nigga. Right. Like, right. <laughs> I, 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 see, I, I see you wear glasses. High school, you wear glasses. So yeah. was that part of the cap shit and all that? Yeah. Or yeah, were yeah, called yeah. a nerd or any of that? Not really nerd. Not like on some like bully shit. But if we if we capping, like, let's say a nigga got braids, he going to be every nigga with braids. And I'm going to be every <laughs> nigga with glasses. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anything you can think of to, to do with eyesight, 
<laughs> my niggas was gonna get on yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. anything. But you ain't letting a nigga live with no but neck braids. You, yeah, I'm not letting you slide like that. Yeah. And so head. is Iverson popping at this time? Yes. Yeah, so top, you got yeah. plenty of braids. Yeah, I mean, up. it's, you know, yeah. whatever. Because my Because let's keep it real. We love Iverson. But the braids never went past the neck. Nah, he didn't really. <laughs> and I didn't know if he was cutting it or what. He didn't know hang time. I feel like he just probably was stressed. He was cutting it. Because because yeah, Iverson, <laughs> was, Iverson wasn't growing and R. Kelly was putting weed. Master P put a weave in too. Oh, the weave game was. The y'all niggas don't act like y'all ain't see P weave. Nah, but look. P I put a weave. Was... P was bald headed one day, then he looked like mystical one day. That nigga. Nah, was... why was R. R. Kelly <laughs> bald headed that whole time, bro? <laughs> ain't that why crazy? No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you why R. Kelly was bald headed. Because of the Fab Five in Jordan. He a lot home. of niggas. He was bald headed because Eric Hall. He was R. Kelly was R. Kelly R. Kelly was bald head for the same reason Jada Kiss was bald head. Yeah, what's up with It's the Michael Jordan Fab Five effect. With the braids, then he just I I had bald heads before. I know I th- especially when I was hooping, I thought I was the nigga. Like bald heads was in like. If you would have seen a nigga back in the day with the sponge, you would have been like, this nappy head ass nigga. <laughs> what is this nigga doing? Nappy head ass nigga. You niggas' tapers were so neat and nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't know Steve Harvey we had a weave the whole time, too. We nah, talked about didn't know Steve Harvey the lying. Original spray. That ain't even yeah. real, nigga. I didn't, we didn't know that. Original. I didn't know that because I didn't see no transition. Like, usually, you know what I'm saying? Take time. It was like, had a high top fade. <laughs> that nigga had a high ball head. And he been like, had that stupid ass mustache. I'm like, Steve. The mustache might not be real. That nigga Steve. No, that that's a caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> he laid up that's there. Definitely not real. So, how long be- between being in high school doing a talent show and actually putting something on wax? Man. Maybe a year. So the ever. talent show you did one of your songs, or did you do? Uh, yeah, I did some shit. Somebody um, else's shit. You nah, this nigga, um, Jay Myers, man, it was me, Jay Myers in London, and we had a crew, and we um was putting out like demos and shit, like okay. or like niggas in the um the older niggas that was paying for like mixtapes and shit. So. But I think his name was Mike or something like that. He put a compilation together from niggas from high school. We was trying to, you know, get our rap shit off. So we was recording, like, senior year. It was, like, actually making music then. Okay. Like, learning this shit. And then we met, um, we just started meeting, like, people that was in the game. You know what I'm saying? And then we met, um, Peanut and Brownie. Tom Mattel. Okay. Shout out to Brownie. The Shout Brownie out to Peanut. Brownie. You know what I'm saying? So when you, I met them, and then... I heard the rapper Ron influence in the in the bars, mm-hmm. and it made me it made me see that niggas was like double rhyming and putting like other shit together like on a on a on a big scale with the raps. It would start getting like complex. Okay. So I'm like, oh okay, this is crazy. Then we met um, Rich and Quinn and Mess and all these niggas like in the city at. Fat Planet or Planet Fat or it was some crazy I remember studio. That. I remember that. Like Fig, all them city niggas was in there. So we start kind of just branching out and getting on Bart and like seeing where the labs was at. Mm. We seen a nigga in the east with a keyboard. This nigga name was Gangsta Red or some shit around this area when we was just young and just mm-hmm. hopping on freestyling with niggas and just being in the mix of uh, shit, rap. Yeah. Playing okay. hella yuck, playing hella... Keep do do you do you man. think that part what you was going through in the music game is missing now? Because the young niggas don't have that. Like they don't have a rap scene. Like that's a scene. Like when you coming up, then you see people. You see the team. You yeah, see yeah, Fab. Exactly. You see people yeah, along you see your way. You don't see it now. They enemies. Like niggas could have played. Scared to come outside. True. You got to come outside. Right. For like right. friendly shit. Right. You, you can't. Pull up, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know exactly. Every, every nigga not the enemy. Like, you just right. pull up outside. Right. Go to the lab, kick it. Yeah, them days kind of Break bread. Break bread. You know yeah, that's real on. shit. So, when, uh, and how long between that period and fly nigga movement? 10 years, 11 years. So, oh, that was a big gap. So, you yeah. drop, <clears throat> you drop. More music, like you dropped mixtapes, and how many you dropped before that? 
maybe four or five. Was 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 were they getting traction? Yeah, I think so. Like that's when the MySpace era kind of the MySpace era, yeah, yeah. kind of came. You kind of moved out of CDs a little bit. Mm-hmm. It was more like I got twenty thousand plays on this motherfucker. I got thirty thousand plays on this song. And I just put so it out I, myself. I just upload it. So you start seeing like, oh, okay, it's changing. Like shit is moving. Different. Is okay. is all these different people like your rap peers? Your, are you seeing like because at the time like. And this is kind of in the neighborhood you frequent. Like, was you seeing like? Cause I see La Rue so much. Yeah, selling yeah, his music yeah. at Seminary Gas Station. Yeah, like shout out La Rue, man. Shout out La Rue. Rue. It's crazy, man. Nigga, hit me this morning, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Are you talking today? <laughs> yeah. Shout out La Rue, man. Mm-hmm. Hit a slam, man. I like the way he, he he revived that too. That nigga really hit me this morning. That's a real nigga, right there. Yeah, that's, that's a real crazy. nigga, man. Yeah. He is he a just real performed nigga. Performed at a day party not too long ago downtown. That's all. Yeah, and that nigga has been. Personally, he changed his whole bounce. He's been doing the jackhammer for like a year straight now. His walk is the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> when you see him, he come in bouncing. <laughs> that, nigga turned, that nigga turned that nigga really turned young, man. That nigga he 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 revived himself because niggas get old and you know what I'm saying? And forget mm-hmm. about rap. Like, you know one thing yeah. I'm gonna say about rap too is <clears throat> everything now is first generation everything so it's first generation millionaires mm-hmm. it's first generation uh having senior rappers right so like i always say this like college kids are rediscover acdc every year and think mm-hmm. it's just the illest shit ever right but when it come to rap and hip-hop they be like this old nigga washed man i'm gonna Dude. see this old nigga man you know what i'm saying and it's kind of <sighs> fucked up but that's <clears throat> how our sport been you know what i'm saying yeah, this is the first time we got to see it. So, yeah. Got to be patient with this shit. Like, got to be patient. It ain't, ain't, ain't happened before. Hit. But Hove and Nas and niggas mm-hmm. been making mature albums that slap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now we see it's what just it is. Not, it's just not for nobody young. You know what yeah. I mean? Unless they want to, like, dabble into the older nigga shit. It's just not for niggas. Like, and I get that because the younger shit ain't always for the older niggas. Like, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Hear a lot of that shit. If I'm like with my kids or this, that, and the third. So it's some, um, that's for outside with the homies. Yeah. Like we might turn up to this, but then the rest of the week, nah, right. not, not, you know so, what I'm saying? Yeah. So hit. Play something a little safer. Right, so, right, right. So doing your tapes and hitting the corners in the Bay Area and getting on mm-hmm. the rap scene is because what I thought about Fly Nigga Movement is here is niggas from different cities. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's the first thing I'm going to pay attention to. So how, how did that even happen? I think we was um and, and name the group man um, is it tracks a million Neil to give myself and Willie Joe and Willie Joe shout out Willie yeah, Joe yeah. I think um, that was probably Willie Joe's like concoction I think he put that together okay if I remember correctly and we just yeah we was all from different cities we wanted to just kind of like we was all at uh, K Nine House okay K Nine and uh, PK at Golden Mean okay which um was my Myself, Netta B, and Jack, and my figures, and mm-hmm. and um, mm. met through met Shout them through Cali fan. Shout out PK. So yeah, we um we just was always around. Like Tracks was managed by K Nine. I was managed by K Nine. All right. I think Willie got back from Atlanta. Neil the Gift was around, and we were just kicking it, making music. What was your first radio song? Which was the first one that made it to Cam? Yeah. Well, well, that? well, well. So we I'm gonna tell. We it's a story that goes like this. Now you die since you dives right in, right into it. Like hey. you know, you know, corn <laughs> has been known to not, you know, have no foreplay with this shit. This nigga go right in. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and pause. Sometimes we just know to stick it in dry. Oh, <laughs> It hurt. So, Some time it hurt. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all doing it So it's, it's, that is it's, crazy. it's urban legend. Okay. That right yeah. here was a fly nigga movement song. Oh, I like it. It's good as Or it was done in a, in a fly nigga movement session. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely no. not. You now, did. I had I had this beat. <clears throat> okay. And shout out to um Tario. Tario came through. Shout out Tario. Keys. Um I had this beat for a couple months. And I was trying to I had got now I'll leave the singer's name was, but I got some singers on it. 
hey, write a hook for me, sis, and all the shit. And none of the shit sounded like it. But I knew the beat was it. That wasn't Sam. No, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> real Sam. quick, let me pry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I recorded that that session at um, the Bakery Studios on West Ground. The homies was over there. Okay. So, I'm like, ah, what the fuck, man? K9 lets me use his studio. And Trax a Million was there. Me and Trax got history. We like, ooh, ooh, pull up, pull up. He like, what you want to say on the beat? I'm like, man, I don't know. I'm kind of like tunnel vision. I've heard it so many times. I'm like, I don't know. So we just started freestyling, kind of fucking around. And I went there with it. He like. Were you in your mind when you heard it the first time? Was that your cadence? Or did you nah, go in rapping first? Nah, we just, it took about an hour. Of just kind of no, I mean, around. even when you had the beat alone, not in Hano Cadence. You just, just was listening to it. Yeah, I just loved that beat. Yeah, I didn't, have, I didn't have nothing to it, so I was trying to get other people on it. Okay, so I didn't fuck it up.